straight away I had a disaster making this video. My Rode microphone wasn't plugged in properly to the GoPro. So for half of the video I have no audio whatsoever, hence this voiceover. Now what I'm basically saying in this video is that due to the muddy conditions, I didn't want to bring all my camera gear, like my drone and my Sony ZV-1, my gimbal and my GoPro and everything, all at once in case I fell over and hurt myself. So I decided on the spur of the moment to make um, a video just using long takes, unedited, with my GoPro only. So there's going to be no rapid cuts, no multi-angle shots of um, different scenes like I normally do, no drone shots, nothing like that. And it was just going to be the GoPro camera and a selfie stick only. So we're walk doing a walk in the Mendip Hills, which is just south of Bristol. and. We were going to walk up to a place called Wavering Down and Crook Peak, which is not the highest points of the Mendip, but the views are very dramatic from the top as the surrounding land is close to sea level. We've parked the car now, which was very difficult because the car park, which we planned to park at, was completely closed for building work, so everybody was forced to park along this narrow country lane, which I don't normally like doing, but we felt as though we had no choice whatsoever. Is that or turn back home, I suppose. So it was a cold, crisp day on Christmas Eve 2020, and there's quite a few people already out walking, being such a nice day. We'd had days of heavy rain before, that's why it's, um, some of the paths were so muddy, and why I didn't want to bring all my camera gear. But I normally always spend hours and hours taking lots of video from different angles time lapses, drone shots, all that sort of thing. And it can take me an awful long time putting it all together. So that's why I decided to do this complete opposite and do a simple video with hardly any cuts at all. So now we've walked up onto the lower part of Wavering Down and I'm just explaining how far we have to walk just to get to Wavering Down. I'm looking down at the mud. It's quite muddy, but nowhere near as bad as I expected it to be. So I'm looking over the wall now and in the distance, even though you can't really see it with the GoPro being such a wide angle lens, is um, looking across to Wales. It's a really clear day. And we're just coming across our first muddy part of the walk. It wasn't as bad as we thought it was gonna be, but it was still quite slippery in places and you did have to go careful. So I'm glad I didn't bring all my full camera gear. Cause I can guarantee that if I had brought all that, I would have slipped over and possibly damaged something. Okay, so now we're just approaching the highest point of the walk actually at 211 meters. This is wavering down. And in the distance behind you can see Cheddar Reservoir. And then over there in that direction is that little bump is actually Glastonbury Tor. So I'm looking around again and looking at this gully. There's a gully there that looks like someone's had a go at lead mining or something like that in the past considering that the um, other parts of the Mendips have been used for lead mining centuries ago. So I imagine that would have been someone testing the soil just to see what was under there. And here's one of the ponies, shaggy haired pony. I think I remember saying at the time that I wonder where he bought his coat from. One of those awful jokes of mine. They did have a lovely coat. And now we're starting to go down a steep hill, approaching Crook Peak now. And it was nowhere near as muddy going down that hill as I thought it was going to be actually. I thought it was going to be really bad and tricky, but it was quite an easy path going down. And then we sit on this little stone bench that had been put in place by somebody. And then Ozzy Dog comes up to have a look. <laughs> I think I'm saying here about the wind direction coming from the north. Whereas normally it would come from the southwest, so it, um, it would could get very blustery in normal circumstances on Crook Peak because it's so exposed to the southwest. But the day we went up there, it was from the north, so it wasn't too bad. And it's some writing actually on this stone bench. So now we've um, shown the sign, showing it's only three quarters of a mile now to Crook Peak, despite it looking an awful lot further. It's because of the wide angle lens on the GoPro, I think. There's a very easy path on top, as you can see by our walking speed. It's me messing about, pretending to slip. So I'm surprised I hadn't done it at that point, because normally I do fall over at some point or slip. 
uh, this bit I'm explaining that I'm going to do a cinematic shot, a reveal shot of the crook beak there. That's the, this is the sort of shots I would normally film on my camera on a normal video edit. And I'm talking now about the path. Yeah, there's like a sideward slope to the path, and it's very easy to slip sideways and fall on your hip. So I'm just explaining how easy it is to slip in this situation. And there you go. I nearly did go there, but not quite. Luckily, the camera didn't get damaged. But that shows how easy it is to fall. And I tend to fall more like that on a sideways bit than a steep bit going up or down. And they're laughing about it, but I could have easily fell over and hurt myself. <laughs> this is one of the few wet bits but we'd had had a lot of rain recently and um, some of the country lanes nearby was quite flooded. Yeah. And there's a lot more of the ponies up on here. They was just chilling out, really. And even though there's quite a few dogs running around at one point, they was absolutely fine. They didn't bolt or nothing like that. There's one of the dogs in the background now, actually, but the dogs was the same, taking no notice of the horse, so there was no problem. Last bit of video with no sound. We will now go into sound, so I don't know what happened, but the microphone didn't plug in it just the uh, I think it must have unplugged completely because the sound from the GoPro microphones will cut in now but it's quite poor sound quality but it's still better than nothing so here we go uh, I don't know if that's it. yeah go down here what is someone's had a bit of an episode It's a miniature cow. Miniature cow. Uh, dwarf cows, perhaps. Um, so, yeah, I have to go down a little bit to get back up. Right. Huh? Yeah. Like detour going back, so we end up in this really muddy lane. <laughs> Great. Uh, hopefully, it will get better, but oh, this isn't good. What's it like down there? Oh, cool. Huh? Yeah. 
Oh. That's padlocks, that's a public footpath, that is. Yeah, public footpath, padlocks. Terrible. But we can get round. Luckily, it's yeah, the last. Yeah. That's how bad that is, that should be padlocked. Yeah, it should be padlocked. Yeah. So we've got bolt cutters on cut it, isn't it? That's taught my lesson. No, Watch this bit here. There's water coming, so go across the edge. Ooh. The holly and the ivy, da 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 Three French hands, two turtle doves. Oh, I've gone wrong again, haven't I? I'm not very good with songs. Ooh. Oh, this path isn't good at all, look at it. <laughs> it's yours. Um, oh, this bit's not good, is it? Look. Try and go up on that higher bit there. Up there. Let's go along the edge there. Oh. Oh. Microphone caught on the branch. Right, go careful because that is. That's going to slip sideways there. Oh. Okay. I'm going for this bit here. It's not too bad up here. Yeah, I'm still on this side a bit. Sheep. I don't know if they're white sheep. Been sprayed black with some sort of new Banksy statement or something like that. Or whether they're naturally like that, I don't know. Pretty little heart fans, I wouldn't know. I was just saying, I didn't know whether that was um, someone had sprayed them black and it was like Banksy or something like that. Like a piece of art. <laughs> a bit of artwork. You can't tell nowadays, can you? It's just a type of sheep, sheep dog. Sheep dog. Oh, hey. Sheep dog. Come by, come by, away. Might not whistle in case he rounds me up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so not too far back from the car now. Let's just go across this. Is there a church or something? Yeah. It looks like there's a, there's a way through there. It's obviously not a public footpath anymore. It does say private, so we can't go through there, but it might have been a church or something. Isn't that? Beautiful. Yeah, so it would have been a public yeah, it looks like It looks like a church attached to the house, doesn't it? Because there's a house there. Yeah. Right, we have to be careful now because we're close to the road. I want to see how bad the park is when we get back because... Here we go. Start to see the car is not too far, luckily. It's not that busy road, but is it? Right, so we're back in the car. That was quite a nice little walk, wasn't it? Yeah, quite enjoyed nice. that. It's a really nice day today, so we're not going to go home yet. We're just going to have a cup of tea. We've actually just driven the short drive to Cheddar. We're just at the bottom of the gorge now. And we're going to have a nice cup of tea. Is that it? A tiny little cup of tea? Yeah, I've got a big flask. <laughs> So that was quite a good morning, wasn't it? So what did you think of that? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it very clear, nice views. It was all right. And, um, and I didn't take that many shots, did I? Didn't spend hours like I normally do no, setting up shots. No, you nearly tried to. Yeah, I, I, nearly, I nearly forgot myself and started going into um, filmmaker Too mode. Too much detail. So this, <laughs> so I just hope this edit turned out okay, because it's going to be not many cuts and transitions. So that's it. So. Next video probably will be over over the top with loads of drone shots and multiple cuts and 
knowing you. Angles, knowing me, yeah. So that's an interesting experiment anyway. Yeah. So, okay, so we're just going to get on another cup of tea and we'll see you next time, okay? Bye. So as we're driving back from the Mendip, to by Chew Valley Reservoir, look at this. There's loads of tractors all decorated in tinsel for some sort of Christmas run. It's blocking the road a bit as well. <laughs> Santa! <laughs> Merry Christmas everybody! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.